You know, elitists have been crapping on the good old USA for so long that through TV and social media, they can almost make us forget our pioneers came to this great nation to start a new country, a new culture, and to get the hell away from the self-important tyrants of Europe. Nearly 250 years later, they're back to their old ways. That's right, woke is scary here at home, until we hop on a DEI flight back to the old country and take a gander at woke around the world. You're watching Woke of the Week with MRC TV and Culture. I'm your female Jewish and 0.2% Native American DEI pilot, Justine Brooke Murray. Our first stop is the UK. Remember when you heard the words Notting Hill and it invoked a quirky movie where Julia Roberts is a famous actor who falls in love with the British bookwork Hugh Grant? Yeah, I know, Hugh Grant getting busted for picking up a street hooker in LA and Julia Roberts going crazy eight bonkers for Biden and Kamala already tarnished that movie. But any misty-eyed memory of that old film or town has now been put to death by the UK and their great plan to end racism entirely with a carnival celebrating diversity. The real Notting Hill now looks like this. <laughs> London bridges are falling down all right. And bus stops. As a true token of cultural enrichment, at least a dozen people were sexually assaulted, eight people stabbed, 50 police officers were injured, and 334 were arrested at the Festival of Freaks. Perhaps the problem rests with how the UK has defined violence, but thankfully their thought police are getting to the root cause of violence. Your mean internet memes, of course. Jailing people for posts you don't like keeps the UK free for, well, this. But why stop there? The next step is to crack down on terrorism by putting you on a terror watch list if they think you're a misogynist. No, not the asylum seekers gang raping little girls, you xenophobic bigot. They likely mean those middle-aged women praying in front of abortion clinics. And they still think their rules apply to Americans. But they seem to forget some people did something in 1776 and the last time Brits tried to extradite us, it didn't end well for them. Maybe their leaders would have had a better time in East Germany. Welcome to Germany. On Wiedersehen. Ha, <sighs> Deutschland. They've always loved their speech codes. They also had a festival celebrating diversity this weekend. But the people they were virtue signaling to were not very virtuous back. Speaking of Germany, targeting Jews apparently means progress once again in Europe. Watch this synagogue in France get culturally enriched by another asylum seeker looking to free Palestine. But hey, it's good to know the surrender monkeys offering up France are busy addressing more dangerous criminals. Tech geeks allowing people to chat without the government spying on them. At least we don't have to worry about any deadly diversity festivals in France for a while. Everyone's still recovering from last month's freak show Paris called the Olympics. That brings us back home in the USA, where there seems to be no end to the woke wave wiping out women's sports. Haley Davidson's been playing golf for 15 years, ever since she was 13. She's passionate about it and good at it good enough to go pro. I've just been drawn to it forever and I, I, I absolutely love it. Haley's dream is to play the LPGA Tour and compete with the best. The Kissimmee resident may be on her way. Haley, Haley just earned her first victory on a ladies mini tour. She's believed to be the first transgender woman to win a professional golf tournament. That wraps today's trip around the world of woke. Make sure you tune into my show every week where I bring you the left's most insane moments and expose their latest attempts to weaken the West. Then hit the like on YouTube, plus on Rumble, follow us on social media, comment below what you think, and don't cave to the leftist media agenda. If you like the work we do here at MRC, please consider donating at mrc.org donate. It's the best way to help our movement. Thanks for flying with us.